So we nage. This is one of my favorite ones to use when I'm working out, doing what you call me with the belt. It's a really good one to get a workout. Um, I still have the two belts hooked up. I'm demonstrating some of the other techniques. Um, you can do this with just a single belt, uh, even if it's a long one. If you do a double one, uh, a single one you fold it in half, you can both ends or one. I really only need one belt to hold on to. I'm going to hold them both just to demonstrate if you're using the one belt method and folding it in half, it doesn't matter if you have two ends, I'm just going to grab them both. My leg on the same side as the hand that's holding the belt is my base foot. I pull myself in, stepping with the opposite foot. I step directly in front of my other foot. I'm not stepping straight ahead. I'm stepping in front of my other foot as I pull myself in. I pull myself in and step. My free arm hooks underneath the belt. Like I'm striking upwards and trying to lift the belt with my arm, catching it in my elbow, in the crook of my elbow. Pull, step in, lift up. Pulling the belt around my body, stepping back with my feet together, and turning. Notice I'm not looking at the ground, I'm looking at the wall. A lot of people only make a half turn on this. They come in, they turn, and they look straight down on the ground. Best way I can describe this is punching at a target. When I punch something, I don't want to punch at it, I want to punch through it. When I throw, I don't want to throw at the ground, I want to throw through the ground. So I don't stop my motion here, I continue with my upper body turning an extra quarter turn. From the waist down, I only made a half a turn, you can see my feet still facing forward. But my upper body turns an extra quarter or eighth of a quarter of a turn past center line. Pull myself in, each side to side. Knee. Notice how I'm lifting up. I pull the belt up just like I pull the gi or the arm up. Hook and turn. Sun. She. Go. Rock. Sich. Ach. Ku. Chu. Again, slow motion. Pull myself in, hook, step back and turn. See how close my feet are? On Ogoshi and all the hip throws, you want your feet relatively close, no wider than hip width. Say we nage though, the feet are basically touching. The only time that I wouldn't do that is on the variation. The throw we know we do now. Sewinage, we used to call it on Sewinage, and there was a version we called Sewinage where you step back. I go in, and instead of bringing my feet together, I step back, not to sweep, but to trap them and keep them from hopping around. Sometimes if somebody turns in and you try to do that throw, you post and hop around the leg. I step in, and as I throw, I step back to block them out from being able to hop, and I throw. Just a version, a variation. What we used to call sewinage, but the traditional throw and the most basic way to do it is to step in, feet right next to each other, and make that extra little turn. Step in, in front of my other foot, hook, step back, and turn. Sewinage.